Hello, my name is Jasmine, I'm an illustrator, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to vlog a full week of basically my life with a focus on what I create. I'm right in the middle of developing chapter two. What are you doing? What you doing? Good boy! What I'm trying to say is that I'm in the middle of developing chapter 2 of my medieval comic Girl Night. Since I'm not going to finish it anytime soon, I can't really make a vlog of like finishing this comic. So what I'll do instead is just show you a day in my life for this week. I do also juggle a day job so that will give you an idea of just how much free time I have in focusing on not only my project, but some of my hobbies and all that good stuff. I have other weekly vlogs on my channel, so if you like this type of content, I do recommend that you check out my backlog of weekly vlogs. Um, so without further ado, let us begin. Today is Monday, February 21st, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. We have had breakfast. I've started to edit the second page of chapter two. What? Here, look, hang out here. Good boy. He's very awake. What I'll do is I'm gonna hang his ball in the cage so he can play with it because it seems like he's not going to be taking a nap anytime soon. Like I said, I'm working on editing page two. I do want to finish that whole page and continue to see how is this comic looking like? And do we want to continue to proceed with this style and look and all that? Yes, we are in chapter two and I am still figuring things out with this comic. So it's very important that I finish these pages and gauge if this is how I want to be telling the story. This is the page and I'm working on adding the screen tones for this panel. I'm also using Nausicaa the manga as a reference on screen tone placing and adding extra hatching. On my Patreon, I'm posting every raw comic page as I draw them and then once I edit each page, I'll also be posting it on there. So if you'd like to see all of these pages immediately, you can check out my Patreon. Today, I have several goals, but one of them is definitely to finish this page. I'm also posting the time lapse of how I edited the page off of Clip Studio Paint on Patreon. I'm pretty much posting literally the entire process of making this comic on there. playing with his other toy. I made coffee. It's That's the new normal now. Noise in the background like that. It's 3:30. I just made coffee and I finished editing page 2. I can't believe the whole day passed editing that page. So 
I'm a little bit concerned about the speed of editing these pages because that's just not fast enough. Um, I'm hoping that it's because I'm a little rusty when it comes to editing. Since I haven't edited pages in almost a month, I've been focusing on drawing them. I don't know why it's so dark now. I've been focusing on drawing for almost a month now, so I do... So it takes a little bit of adjusting to the eye, and I was slow on like what the brushes to use. Page 2 is done. I'm going to post it on Patreon as well as the time lapse of editing the entire page. And then I have to pack up an Etsy order, do more admin stuff, and I will jump to page three. Here's the print that someone bought on my Etsy store. It's the Bar Tiki Tea in LA. I made it with acrylics. I always include something extra to my Etsy orders. For this one, I'm going to add a sloth sticker. And then it's my business card. And I'll add this sticker in the back of the envelope. If you'd like to know where my Etsy store is, I've put a link in the description and this is a quick glance at my store. It's a lot of prints and stickers. Here's the post on Patreon for that page and the time lapse. I really like this font. It's cute. And guess what just arrived in the mail? Oh, you can't tell what it is. Okay, that's much better. A mannequin! It said it was on sale, so I had to get it. For drawing people in my comic, lately I've been using the Magic Poser app or these things. But these things are not useful at all. Not only do the joints not fully articulate, but they don't even stay still. Most of the poses that I'm drawing are people holding swords and stuff. And these, these mannequins just are not meant to be used for holding stuff references. So I really should just get rid of these. They're not useful. They take up a lot of space. So I'm really happy to finally have gotten a actual mannequin specifically for drawing. So let's see what it looks like. Under the platform is a box where you can store all the little tidbits here. I do find it neat that the extensions can go into these grooves. There are other accessories sold on their website, but this is the standard ones that come with the main mannequin. And I was happy with it because it does come with a sword, so that's really all I need for my medieval comic. I was very tempted in getting the female version of this one, taking advantage of the sale, but I wasn't sure if even one of these mannequins was gonna work out because depending on which uh, supplier you buy these from, um, some of them can come out quality-wise really crappy. For this one, I like it. The screws do need to be tightened though because the platform's too shaky. The other reason why I didn't get the girl is because the reviews were saying that the girl figure is a lot smaller. Blech. See what I mean? It is not super stable. The girl figure, because it's even smaller than this guy, is awkward to pose and doesn't articulate as nicely as the male character, being that she's a lot smaller. So I thought why don't I just try out the guy figure and see if this works. If I need to get a second one, 
than I will afterwards. But yeah, I didn't want to seem too reckless in buying two whole new things that I wasn't sure that one, I was going to use, and two, it was even going to work reading the reviews, especially after reading those reviews about the female character. So yeah, just a heads up on that. I have a screw here. I could tighten that stuff now and see what that would look like. I did manage to tighten some of these joints here. And look at that, he is actually staying put. I don't know, I might consider getting the girl just so that if I have scenes where there's Alice and someone else in there, I can use them as reference. So I might do it, you guys, I don't know. I'm gonna give myself a couple of weeks because I'm not gonna be doing much comic drawing this week. So I can just chill out on the spending and really get familiarized with this guy and see if I need a second one. What's this winter storm? Is it gonna rain? Yeah. How long? All week or? Tomorrow through the weekend, I believe. Hello. It's almost two o'clock. I got back from day job and I'm ready to do some concept art drawing because I really do need to figure out what some of these characters look like for chapter two. I started drawing them on the spot through the actual comic pages and you really should not be doing that. You should already have a fixed idea of what they look like before jumping into the comic pages so I did get ahead of myself there. So we're gonna put some breaks on the project and we're gonna do some actual homework here. I made decaf coffee but instead of steaming regular oat milk, I steamed Jonathan's chocolate milk that he had in the fridge. He has like four bottles of it, okay? I didn't steal that much, but I wanted to try it out. And of course, if it's gonna be chocolate, I have to put it in my Mexican mug. And it's pretty good. It kind of tastes like a hot chocolate ice cream. I'm digging it. Clyde's really getting into that peanut toy thing. I don't want him to be playing with it for too long because he shouldn't be eating that many nuts in a day. So I think I'm gonna take it away from him. He's had it for like half an hour and I already, I've heard him get into a few peanuts so I should probably take that away from him. Alright buddy, I think you've definitely had enough peanuts for freaking three days now. This is more for sketching. Any water-based stuff, it kind of bleeds through. I would really like to work with watercolors and really the only thing that's been stopping me is I don't have a good watercolor sketchbook, but I did get one a few months ago. I even made one piece here. And I have to get out of the mindset that it's precious and I shouldn't be playing around with sketches in here. I, I need to break out of that. I have to use this as a sketchbook and like really not care about making mistakes in them. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna just doodle. I can't guarantee the stuff's gonna look good or anything. 
and that's why I'm gonna sit here and not in the drawing desk. I feel like if I sit in the drawing desk, again, it's gonna feel like I have to be making perfect artwork. Here, the more casual, the better. And I think that's it. Do we want to sketch in this thing? This definitely looks more sketchy -y. Does watercolor work? It looks like it does. So you know what? I think we're just gonna, it literally says sketch. I think we're gonna do this one instead. What's up, Yum Yum? It's already 5.30 and I haven't gotten any work done. <laughs> I was supposed to draw, but I got caught up with Clyde over there. He was very active. And since Clyde was up too, I took him in the shower and we showered. So at least I got that out of the way for the day. I do have to work tomorrow again, so at least I got this out of the way. <laughs> now that it's 5.30, there's still plenty of time to get this stuff done. With the cat on the lap. These are the two pages that I made this evening. Clearly I had some ink issues. <laughs> and also this paper is definitely not 100% watercolor paper because the color just wouldn't mix. Definitely got too watery. So I know now that it's good to sketch like right here, but if I want to get any fancier than that, I should really just move on to watercolor paper. Anyways, I'm really happy with how this came out. If I were using watercolor paper, I feel like the colors would have come out a lot more crispier. Next session, definitely different paper. I'm going to be posting these on Patreon right now, and I love this illustration. I think I will transfer it digitally and turn it into something official later down the line. It's almost 10.30. Everybody has gone to sleep, so I should join them as well. Good night. It's Thursday, 6.30 in the evening. I've been back from work and I went straight to my desk to edit those watercolor designs, post them fully on Patreon. And now I'm back to 
editing this comic. I haven't been wanting to move so that he can stay on my shoulder as long as possible because around this time he wants to just be dead to the world in his cage so he's been in his cage all day because I had to go to work so I am trying to keep him out as much as possible so it's been like four hours of him being active I gave him a walk outside I'm giving him pellets right now I don't really have anything to update like vlogging is kind of hard when um, there's literally nothing going on but I did want to check in and let you know that I am still editing and yeah Jonathan's still at work so I'm gonna stay here until a couple of hours in and I'm tired work was super tiring today so I will check in in a little bit It's nine o'clock, Jonathan's here. He's making dinner. I just finished editing another page and I already scheduled to post it on Patreon tomorrow because I also include the time lapse of how I edit it on Clip Studio Paint, so that is done. My thoughts so far on how this comic is going, I am really, really glad I took the time yesterday to draw out Guichard and uh, Henry because I'm feeling I'm feeling good about revisiting those comic pages and Fixing them because the Guichard that I drew yesterday is not at all the Guichard that I drew last week so I have to update like three or four comic pages featuring him and as far as Henry goes yeah, I'll have to fix his face in all of them, but I like I, I might have said it earlier in the vlog, but I'm, I'm still not confident with how he looks, so I'm going to continue to do more uh, sketching of him. I think part of the issue is I'm not drawing the pupils the same size. And his hair. His hair is like tousled, but it's not hugely volu voluminous in the back. And so you should be able to see his skull, and so sometimes I draw him with floofy hair in the back and that that can really change how someone looks so it's those little things where you don't notice that you're changing and you don't know why this person looks different it's really subtle details like that that you have to pay attention to so that's a continued concern of mine is getting Henry right especially getting a Henry that I'm envisioning because yeah you can figure out a character consistency but if he's not matching what's in your mind then is it really the character that you want anyways i'm signing off gonna go have dinner It's exactly 9.15 a.m. I've been drawing for a couple hours with my headphones because Clyde still needs to sleep. He needs to sleep like 12 hours, so he just started making noises in his cage, so 
pretty much means that he's awake. So it's time to get up, serve him breakfast, serve myself breakfast. This one already ate at 8 o'clock. She starts making a big deal to eat by like 7.30 in the morning, so she definitely has to eat by 8 o'clock. What I actually drew was the second page of my sci-fi webcomic, Space Warriors. I'm super behind on getting back to this project because just girl night has been a priority for me. Uh, but I really should be slowly chipping away at this project as well because ideally if I can get a big backlog of pages, I can already have this run in the background on webtoons. So duh, like I really should have at least like 20 pages made. That way I can make like two pages a month and post two pages a month. So I'll always be 20 pages ahead with this project, but I really should be knocking a bunch of these pages out every month so that I can have that in the background because I really truly want people to continue to read the story and it's not gonna happen unless I just carve out the time every month to make a few pages. So that's what I was doing this morning. It's Saturday, 4.30 p.m. I didn't actually have to work today. We had lunch with my other in-laws and went vintage store shopping. I got a dress and a meditation kitty. For the rest of the day, I decided to do some much needed reading. I have this comic book that my friend Sasha lent me. I think it's from the 80s and it's written by a woman, Wendy Peeney and Richard Peeney. I think they're married. So, made by a couple. She highly recommended it. So, I finally have some time to sit back, relax, enjoy this really gloomy weather. It's been a crazy winter storm system in California. Like, blizzards in the mountains, flooding, crazy. What's wrong with it? Just froze in the middle, so there's just a huge chunk of ice. Wait, in the so this is ice? Yeah. What the heck? It should probably be tasty. Just. Ew. Are you sure? Yep. That's weird. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Maybe. Go. Rainy day cocktail. Hell yeah. 
How am I supposed to read with you like this? Pizza crust kids over here, huh? Good. You guys are cute. <laughs> the movie Jonathan is watching is Ben Hur, a movie over 50 years ago. The cinematography is beautiful. Look at that shot. He's just eating dust. Wee 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 wee. Ew, he looks gross. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That <laughs> that's me. definitely you. That's totally me. Is it going down? Oh man, it was a giant bubble here and it started to descend here. Sunday, I just got back from day job. Jonathan heated up some pizza and we're going to hang out. I will say that for today, I did work on just doodling some girl night stuff before heading out to work. I've put the time lapse of that right here. Thank you for watching to this very point. If you have any questions about anything, please leave a comment below. Definitely check out my Patreon to get a glimpse of all the comic pages for girl night concept bar all that good stuff it's all on my patreon and to start reading girl night it's also available links are below make sure that you're subscribed to my youtube channel thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye